A massive police hunt is underway for two convicts who escaped from Jowai Civil Hospital on Sunday. The duo, identified as Small Power and Kuala Lalu, were admitted to the hospital on January 27th and January 29th, respectively. Inspector General of Prisons informed that Power was sentenced to 10 years of imprisonment for raping a minor to life imprisonment for murder. The Meghalaya Joint Action Committee of Commercial Vehicles today stated that they will go for an indefinite strike starting February 3rd if the state government doesn't give in to their demands. They made the comment after their meeting with Deputy Chief Minister Preston Tensong. The committee's demands include revision of fares due to increase of petrol and diesel prices, reduction of taxes by 50% due to odd-even plying of vehicles. The state government had recently directed taxis to charge customers pre-COVID rates after removing restrictions on the number of passengers cab drivers can carry in their vehicles. The order came after public outcry due to overpricing. The project director, National Highways Authority of India, Ministry of Road Transport and Highways, Meghalaya, has informed that any mechanical vehicle which is loaded in excess of the permissible load specified for its category shall be liable to pay fee at such a rate which is applicable for the next higher category of mechanical vehicles. The driver, owner or person in charge shall be liable to pay fee for entering the overloaded vehicle on the national highway to the toll collecting agency equal to 10 times of the fee applicable to such category of mechanical vehicles under relevant rules. As a part of police initiative to reduce crime, Southwest Kasi Hills District Police, in collaboration with Meghalaya Police Academy, organized a one-day training on crime against women and children.